this morning as North Central College Chaplain, it is my honor to ask a blessing over these proceedings and this graduating class of 2016. While I lift up my prayer from the Christian tradition, I hope the words and thoughts may resonate with you, no matter what your faith tradition may be. May we enter into an attitude and a time of reflection and prayer. God of the past, you are the source of light and truth for the world. We thank you for the countless moments in thousands of lives that have brought us to this time and place. We thank you for the generations of yesterday who for 155 years have poured themselves into this place to ensure that it not only survived, but thrived. We thank you for the family, friends, teachers, and counselors who raised and guided this class to become part of the North Central College family allowing us to come alongside to mentor, instruct, and dream with them. Bless their work and the love that it shows. God of the present, you are here every moment of our lives. We thank you for making the dream of completing the various courses of study represented in this class a reality today. We give thanks that this class of 2016 now gathers to celebrate the accomplishments of internationally recognized scholars and athletic champions. We celebrate the tenacity of student veterans, first generation college students, and premier scholars. We celebrate the vision of artists, actors, and activists. We celebrate seekers of truth, doers of justice, and lovers of kindness. Bless our time today as we honor them and send them forth. God of the future, you have revealed light to all the nations for all time. As we remember and celebrate, we also ask that your light continue to illuminate those gathered here, trustees and administrators to strive to provide the resources and vision to ensure the next 151 commencements, faculty and staff who pursue truth while stroking the imaginations of future world changers, families and friends who now watch with anticipation as their loved one turns to face the uncertainty of the world with boldness. Finally, gracious and loving God, pour forth your blessings on this graduating class of 2016. They have proven their readiness, their dedication, their talent, and are prepared to graduate, to succeed, to serve, and eventually to transform the world. Shine light and truth on them today and throughout their lives that they may carry lux veritas into the world. Everlasting God, I lift this prayer to you in the name of Jesus who was a rabbi, a mentor, an exemplar, a prophet, and one who sought to transform the world. Receive and multiply these thoughts and prayers for the sake of those gathered and for a world that needs bold bearers of light and truth. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you, Reverend Doolittle. To all of the parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, husbands, wives, children, and other relatives and friends, to the trustees, alumni, faculty, and staff of North Central College, and to the distinguished members of the class of 2016, welcome to the 151st commencement exercises of North Central College one of the finest comprehensive colleges of the liberal arts and sciences in America. I'm pleased that all of you are here today. During this academic year, 696 students completed requirements for bachelor's degrees and 111 completed requirements for advanced degrees. Class of 2016, during your years here, you were a part of some very significant milestones and progress on campus. First and foremost, some of you were the first residents ever to live in a brand new residence hall, appropriately called New Hall. Private rooms, new furniture, flat screen TVs, in-floor heating, great views from the fifth floor lounge, a perfect location. I'm sure you're going to miss it. During your time here, you've witnessed some key improvements on campus. 
the remodeling of Kaufman Dining Hall, updates to Seeger Hall and Jefferson Plaza, the addition of a new classroom and technology in Oserly, more Wi-Fi and more Wi-Fi and more Wi-Fi. You've seen the final move-out days at Student Village and Peter and Paul Hall. Along with Student Village, the structures that housed our business and political science faculty were replaced by a massive hole, which is now taking on the promise of an amazing new science center. I'm pleased that many of you joined us to sign the beam, and I hope you come back to visit this facility as proud alumni. In addition to these physical milestones on campus, you brought tremendous pride to this college during your time here. I've enjoyed witnessing your accomplishments along with your passion for recreation, like the dinner dances here in Res Rec, your love for intramural competition and new events like the Cardinal Games. We all took pride in the announcement of national awards and honors for WONC, for the Forensic Team, the Chronicle, the American Marketing Association, computer science competitions, and mock trial. We celebrated your NSF and Goldwater honors, your admission to graduate schools, and your plans for work and travel. Others among you passed the CPA exam while you were still students here, quite an accomplishment. I've been impressed that many of you studied abroad, conducted research, and partnered with your professors. Some of you presented not just once but twice at the National Conference for Undergraduate Research. Yesterday, we toasted the accomplishments of 35 of you that are college scholars who today are wearing their gold cords. Members of this class helped make TEDx a success and coordinated thousands of volunteers to pack a million meals for Feed the Need right in this space. You made the campus a better place by your positive leadership and conversations on social justice, inclusion, and race. Some of you traveled to civil rights sites to experience an important chapter of American history. You've embraced sustainability by conducting environmental research on campus and by gardening, composting, recycling, and riding cardinal red bikes, leaving this campus and the world a better place for your actions. In the past four years, our student athletes have been part of 20 CCIW Conference Championships and one team national championship, raising that total to 31. Among you are 15 academic All-Americans and eight All-Americans, and some of you were honored multiple times. But most of you chose to be student athletes simply because you enjoyed competing and building camaraderie with your teammates. The class of 2016 includes more than 100 students who are the first in their families to graduate from college. And yesterday, we celebrated your success with a pinning ceremony. Your class also includes five United States military veterans who have each overcome a unique set of hurdles in life to earn their degrees today. Ten countries and four continents are represented by our international graduates today who hail from El Salvador, India, Japan, Kenya, Pakistan, Palestine, Rwanda, Spain, Uzbekistan, and Venezuela. Next year, graduates from this class will go on to pursue advanced studies at Washington University in St. Louis, Rush University College of Nursing, in the universities of Wisconsin, Kentucky, Tennessee, Iowa, Iowa State, Nebraska, and Illinois. Others will begin positions with top financial institutions, service organizations like Teach for America, and area school districts. Your class represents the ideals of this college's founders, and you have been worthy role models for the students who will follow in your footsteps. I look forward to hearing about your successes in the years to come. North Central College is an independent college governed by a self-perpetuating board of trustees. 
which includes representatives of many professions, alumni of the college, the Naperville community, and the United Methodist Church. Many of our trustees and their families are here today, as well as members of the Board of Trustee Associates and Alumni Board. They join me in welcoming all of you to this 151st commencement. One very special guest here today is the Honorable Steve Cherico, Mayor of the City of Naperville, the finest small city in America. Mr. Mayor. Well, thank you, Dr. Hammond, faculty, and staff. It's an honor to be with you here today. I have to tell you, as mayor, I attend a fair amount of ceremonies over the year, but this one is different. The energy and the enthusiasm and to be able to look out over our future, it just makes me feel very, very, very proud. Congratulations to the class of 2016 graduates, parents, family, friends. I want to thank you all for treating Naperville with such respect and being such great representatives of our community. Oftentimes, uh, when I mention that Naperville is a college town, people say, really? And I think, how could you not know that? Our campus is one block out of downtown. There's 3,000 students roaming around at any given time. And the reason they don't know it is because of all you. You've blended into this community. You've made Naperville part of your home. And you've treated it with respect. You've kept it clean. And you've represented us very proudly. And for that, we are very, very grateful. I want you to know that over 3,000 alum have made Naperville their permanent home. And we certainly hope that you will one day consider that as well, because we'd be proud to have you. So congratulations. Thank you very much. And please really remember this moment. Thank you. <laughs> 